Man. Uh. Yes, folks, another glorious sunny day here in Capital City. Bright sun and warm temperatures. Oh, yeah. So warm, it's killing me. But we interrupt our program for a special announcement from our beloved president himself. Dear citizens of Capital City, today I want to share my joy and great pleasure in inaugurating the world's biggest refrigerator. With this installation, Capital City proves its leadership in new technologies. Your beloved president now has an amazing ice cream supply to get through the heat wave in tip-top condition. My well-being is your happiness, so let's be happy together. We sure are lucky to have a president who puts himself first each time for our sake. Now I'm going to set the thermostat on my super fridge to minus 30 degrees. Huh? Oh no! This is not cool! They cut off my electricity! That has got to be because of Mr. President's super fridge. I'm already feeling hot under the collar. Ugh. Hey man, that ain't gonna cool me down enough. Hmm, cool. I think I got a mega idea. Go for it! Do this? Don't do that! You don't try to repair electricity when you haven't got a clue. It's very dangerous. Yes, Mom. <laughs> but you do make us happy when lights come back on, dear. Yes, Mom. <laughs> well, is it ready? Here you are, Mr. President. May I point out to Your Excellency that the installation of the presidential super fridge has caused a blackout to the entire city. Well, that's not my problem. Oh, yeah, pretty selfish thinking. Very uncool. What? But who on earth do you think you are? Cool it, dude. Uh. Telephone! <laughs> Captain? Uh, 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 wait a sec. Captain Biceps, ever glowing light of justice at your service. What's that, Mr. President? An intruder inside your refrigerator sounds like a mission for Captain Biceps! Genius light! Fantastic! Let's go! I can hear you in there! Stop that right now! That's an order! What's happening, Mr. President? Has the intruder set up explosives? Oh, far worse! He's eating all my ice cream! Don't you worry, we can handle this, Mr. President. Okay, buddy. Yeah, you inside there. Come on out now, if you don't want- Shut the door! Genius technique! Shouldn't be too complicated, Captain. Once we get him into the sun, he'll melt like snow in spring. Yeah, but how do we get him out of there? Hey, that's funny. This thermostat goes from minus 30 to plus 50 degrees. It's not bizarre. That way I can use it as sauna in the winter and... Ah! What are you doing? Forcing the Eskimo out of the igloo, Mr. President. But no! No! Ah! You melted all my popsicles! <laughs> Hey, cool! Yeah. Oh, far out! Ah. Don't worry, guys, I'll set up a mattress for you, okay? Yeah. They weren't too hard, right? <laughs> hey, it's sure hot out here. Don't worry, Captain. The sun will take care of a problem in a jiffy. Look, he's melting already. No, I am not melting. I am just sweating, and that is not cool. Did you know? Fred Friesem's dad was an ice cream vendor. He'd make new flavors and cone shapes up all the time. Rock and roll ice cream. Every time you bite, you get a riff. The flavor is a blend of beer, sweat, and old barf. That way, it really feels like you're at a concert. Here, son, try my new invention, rock sweat. Seeing as Fred loved ice cream, his dad always had him try new flavors first. But one day, that went all wrong. I also have a prototype for everlasting ice cream but it could be dangerous. Come on, let me try it, Dad. Don't blame me if it goes wrong, okay? Mmm, it has no taste. Yes, I know, but it's everlasting. It reconstructs itself with every mouthful. Hey, what's going on here? I'm turning into ice. Oops. Ah! Let's think positive. Now, the cool thing about this is, you can suck your own hand as much as you want. Uh, It'll grow back forever. Mm, what happened to me, Dad? Come on, kid. I warned you. Don't blame me. Good luck, son. This is so uncool. 
if ice cubes can regenerate, then he won't melt in the sun, Captain. That's okay. I'll just let rip two mighty justice snowballs in his face, and that's that. <laughs> ah, Captain! <laughs> Too hot here. I gotta find a fridge fast. Captain Biceps, 35 Pummel Road. Cool. But you know, Captain, it looks like he's okay. I mean, we've had no complaints from anyone. That is not the problem, genius. When you thirst for justice, you gotta have a drink of soda. Hey! Shut the door! What are you doing in my fridge, Ice Pack? What does it look like chilling out? Everlasting or not, you're gonna get blasted into juice! Super hot hair dryer, thermonuclear hot water bottle, proton radiator, atomic flamethrower! Oh. Oh. Okay, when you finish your stunts, how about stocking up on ice cream from Pay A Lot? Pay A Lot? Huh? Yeah! Let's go, genius! What are we after, Captain? Antifreeze, genius! Antifreeze? Yes, indeed, we have antifreeze, but fellows, this is July. Come back in December and you'll find what you want, huh? <laughs> ah, no, no, what I mean, that's a joke. Asking for antifreeze in July, real funny. <laughs> you, you need salt for your driveway? Will you put me down, please? I can't stand wood. Bicep spray in action. Genius. Hey! <laughs> Ooh, how come whatever I eat tastes bad? Maybe I should add more sugar. Huh? Huh? Oh. Ah! <laughs> no, buddy, what you need is more salt. Hey, what's the deal, man? First time I sweated so heavy. It's called melting. Did anybody tell you that salt melts ice? Uh, so uncool. Oh, yes, it is cool. Because Captain Biceps and Capital City Justice are sending you away on a super vacation to a super cool environment in this little jar. Captain Biceps! Elmo! Ah, nice weather here. Cool. Hey, little dude, what flavor ice cream you guys got to eat around here? Oh, this is so uncool.